How to install window shades slash bug nets slash breathable mesh on your car windows. Sorry if there's background noise in the audio. I'll show you how to install them and how they look when they're on, and then a quick pros and cons list. Make sure you have the right size for your car. There are different types for front and back windows. This brand fits the Toyota Prius rear window perfectly. First, you need to open your door. You want the Velcro to be facing towards the window. Then slide it over the window frame. Slide it all the way down and adjust as needed to get it fit flush to the window frame. Note that it only fits one way, so make sure it's facing the right way. Then take the included Velcro stickers and stick them to the car door where the Velcro tabs from the shade hang down. This ensures the shade will fit how you want every time. Also make sure to clean the surface before you apply the stickers. For me, the best place to put them was in the door jam on either end of the door. Give the stickiness a few minutes to stick and you're good to go. Here's what it looks like on the outside. And here's what it looks like on the inside. As you can see, the window can still move up and down freely. Briefly, some pros and cons. Number one is sun blockage. It provides good shade. Number two is airflow. This mix with the shade makes the car surprisingly cool on a hot sunny day. The airflow is also great if you're going to sleep in your car. It keeps the bugs out and lets fresh air in. Number three, it won't get caught on windows. It stays out of the way. Number four, it's lightweight and it packs up small. It takes up next to no space. And pro number five is the price. These were $10 for the pair. Onto the cons. Number one, it's probably not great to keep on while driving. They'll flap in the wind and possibly tear if it's windy enough or you're going fast enough. So I wouldn't recommend it, but also do what you want. Number two, they're not to be used for security. Besides bugs, it won't stop anyone from reaching inside to grab something or to open the door. And number three, they're not rainproof. Since they let air through, they also let rain through. Those last two are barely cons because they aren't what the shades were designed to do, but I'm just putting it out there. My initial review, I think they're very useful and effective for what they are. They're well made, but will rip if you don't treat them carefully. It's a thin mesh fabric. I got them mainly for keeping bugs out at night, but I can see myself using them for shade pretty often too. In case you're wondering, they still fit well if you have rain guards on your windows like me. That's all for now. Subscribe for more car camping videos. Any questions, leave a comment, and I'll catch you next time. Thanks.